Are you tired of being misinformed? Here is why journalists should not pick a side. The West tries to push their ideology all over the world, just as religion used to do at one time by pushing their belief on others that either you believe in Jesus or you're not saved and forcing them to convert. The COVID pandemic was marked by contrasting observations regarding the spread of the virus in different contexts. While left-wing protests for the Black Lives Matter movement seems to have had a low COVID-19 contamination risk, despite large crowds and close proximity, family gatherings, church events, and Trump rallies were reported to have a significant increase in cases and over 30,000 deaths. Hmm, don't you find that odd? Additionally, there have been instances in which the media has appeared to favor certain political figures. When it comes to similar actions by Trump, they advocate for his persecution but avoid persecuting Hillary and Biden. While the media claims to be politically neutral, this raises concerns about its impartiality. My personal experience as a liberal demonstrates that the media takes sides rather than maintaining a neutral position. Now let's reflect on these observations and their implications. How can we ensure a fair and balanced approach to information dissemination in a world full of diverse perspectives and ideologies? When reporting, media outlets should be impartial. The robustness of news coverage depends on an impartial approach. We don't want to appear bland and soft. The purpose is to remove the personal and allow the audience to draw their own conclusions without being influenced by the journalist's opinions. Continue the conversation by using the hashtags, hashtag COVID contrasts, hashtag media impartiality, and hashtag unseen perspectives. This video was brought to you by Gino DiCaprio, and this has been One Minute.